الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان خير الحديث كلام الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله والضلاله واهلها في النار وقف ان شاء الله سبحانه وتعالى هو gathered us again uh, to benefit and for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the sake of knowledge for the sake of admonition for the sake of uh, brotherhood so this is from the great favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in reality These are the best types of gathering. These Sheikh Salim Al-Rashid Al-Libi Hafizahullah Ta'ala said in one of his jilsa he said that how many of sadness how many sadness and sorrow disappears by sitting in the gardens of knowledge. So how many sadness and sorrows disappear just by sitting in the garden in the garden of knowledge alone so these are the best of gatherings as the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said so on the haqiqatan what the ikhwa have mentioned and what they have given of admonition they are enough and they suffice us so in fact personally i would have just have uh prefer that i should be listening because there is so much benefit in this so listening you you don't have to do anything and then you just be taking benefit wallahi so much khair in it so for that khair to be with us we have to have ikhlas we need to have sincerity so in whatever we do as it has been it is explained since morning at the same time we have to make sure that admonition seeking knowledge advice has effect on us it has a lasting effect on us and it changes our lives Imam Ibn Jawzi rahimahullah ta'ala said in his book Sayyid al-Khatir Ibn Jawzi said qad ya'ridu 'inda sama'i al-mawa'id li sami'i yaqdhatun he said it can be present when a person is listening to admonition and attentiveness fa idha fasala an majlis dhikri but when he leaves that garden of remembrance ah that is qaswat wal ghafla so the hardness of the heart and the heedlessness returns fa tadabbaru tu sababa fi dhalik so i ponder upon the reason for this why is it that when you are in the garden of knowledge it will be as if you are looking at jannah and and uh, the other one like this so why is it that you have the zeal when you are in the garden of admonition but when you just leave it khalas in taha so ibn jawzi said fatadabartu sababa fi dhalik so i pondered upon the reason for that fa'araftuhu so i realized it thumma ra'aytu an-nas yatafawatuna fi dhalik Then I saw that people differed in it. Fahalatu al-'ama. The situation of most people and al-qalb that the heart 
la yakunu ala sifatihi min al yaqadati inda sama'i al mawidati wa ba'daha that most people the heart does not be on the same attribute it is when it is of attentiveness when it is listening to admonition so the same way it will not be the same way after that admonition after that nasiha so wa due to two reasons ahaduhuma the first one an al mawa'id wa kasiyah admonitions are like whips wasiyah and whips la tu'limu ba'da qida'iha so whips does not hurt a person again after you have stopped whipping the person so mawa'id kasiyah they are like whips so when you finish whipping a person that's it it ended وَإِلَامُهَا وَقْتَ وُقُوعِهَا And the only time it ought is when that admonition is going on. وَثَانِي Ibn Jawzi said that the second reason أَنَّ حَالَةَ سَمَاعِ الْمَوَاعِي In the situation when a person is listening to admonitions يَكُونُ الْإِنسَانُ فِيهَا مُزَاحَ الْعِلَّةِ A person doesn't have anything occupying him. قَدْ تَخَلَّى بِجِسْمِهِ وَفِكْرِهِ عَنَ أَسْبَابِ الدُّنْيَا he has freed his body and his intellect from the uh, causes of dunya or from the things of dunya. And he listens with his heart being attentive. When he returns back to things that occupy him, it grasps him with its evil. How is it then possible for him to be after that the way he was in the garden of admonition? Now look, look. Now you can still be like that. Ibn Jawzi says, وَهَذِهِ حَالَةُ تَعُمُّ الْخَلْقِ And this situation I have explained above so encompasses all, all of the creation. إِلَّا except أَنَّ أَرْبَابَ لِيَقَضَ Those who are masters of attentive, uh, attentiveness. They vary in the uh, effects that admonition have on, have on them after they leave the garden of our admonition. Now, look at what Ibn Jawzi is saying and see where you fall into. From them, who has a strong Z, a strong Z, without any doubt or without any. Uh, Taraddud regarding it. And he continues on what he has been advised on without looking left, left and right. If the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created them wanted to affect them, do the what they would clamor. They would cry out, ah, no, that's a religion I had. I want you to affect my life. كَمَا قَالَ حَنْظَلَةُ عَنْ نَفْسِهِ Just like Hanzala said about himself. We all know the hadith of Nafaq or Hanzala. So that Hanzala, one of the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So one day he just, he was sad and crying and wanted to go to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then he met Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu. And he said, Abu Bakr, he told Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu that uh, Hanzala has become a munafiq. Nafaq Hanzala. said, why do you say you have become a munafiq? said, whenever we are with the Prophet sallam, and we are listening to admonitions and advice and uh, guidance, so it will be as if we are seeing hellfire and Jannah in our front. But when we go back to our family, we forget everything, we start playing. Abu Bakri said, I don't find myself except that I am also like that. Then Abu Bakri also started crying. This is, let me read this statement again. Ibn Jawzi said, فَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ يَعْزُمُ بِلَا تَرَدُّدْ Some of those who listen to admonition, they have Z without any going back and forth. وَيَمْدِي مِنْ غَيْرِ الْتِفَاتِ And they continue without looking left and right. So how, how does admonition really affect you? After leaving the city of admonition. That is what counts. Not what you feel while you are listening to it. Wallahi, wallahi, wallahi. Many of the things you are saying today, is the same thing we have been saying before today. So, 
فَلَوْ تَوَقَّفَ بِهِمْ رُكَبُ الطَّبْعِ If the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created them, if it's even standing their way that they would not want to follow the admonition, لَضَدْ جُو they would, they would cry out كَمَا قَالَ حَنْظَرَةُ عَنْ نَفْسِهِ Just like Hanzara said about himself. This is the first type of people regarding admonition that you listen to all the time. Admonition all the time. Day and night. Classes in a week. More than 20 classes. So, and from them are some people now look try to classify yourself and there are some people what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created them takes the, created them on naturally takes them back to heedlessness sometimes and sometimes what has preceded of admonition affects them Sometimes, so this is the situation of most people. Sometimes they will listen to admonition, but you know, they will still get affected with outside factor again. And then at the same time, they just remember, ah, this was said one day. Now, Ibn Jawzi said, Fahum ka sumbula. They are like what? They are like the air of the corn. So, Tamilu riyah, Tamilu, Tamilu riyah. So the wind blows it. Wa akwa mun. And there are some people. لا يؤثر فيهم إلا بمقدار سماعه. There are some people admonition does not have effect on them, except with that duration of when they are listening to it. كما إن it is like a water دحرج تا دحرج دحرج تا هو على صفوان. It is like a water that you pour on glass. When you pour water on glass, it what? To slide away. It is only then when that water is on it, that is when water will be on it. Once you pour it away, everything will go away. So which do you belong to? So this, we don't, we are not just gathering for the sake of just, you know, if things are not put into the right perspective and place, things are intended for a purpose, but they become another purpose. Because we Salafis, we know we don't listen to music, we don't listen to we don't watch movies, we don't do this, we don't do that. But some people, what he used to entertain himself are what are lectures. So are lectures. Not even lectures of uh, stories or, or no, no, no. So lectures of man has, ha, Lord, what? So are lectures. So and these, are, these are his own gatherings of entertainment. Because why? Because he doesn't listen to music, but this has replaced it. So we have to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَقَلْ لِي بَالَكْ وَجْمَعْ قَلْبَكْ وَحْضُرْ ذِهْنَكْ وَسْغَوْ بِبَدَنِكْ So, uh, what, we want to, what we want to discuss is what Abu Mahjin has mentioned أَسْبَابُ النَّجَاتِ فِي وَقْتِ الْفِتَنِ So the reasons for safety in the times of fitna So the reasons, the causes and the uh, means the means to safety. So in the times of fitna, freedom, freedom from fitna. So <laughs> means of salvation from fitna. As Babu Najati min al fitan. So if you work in fitan. So in the times of fitna, why are we talking about this type of thing? Abu Huraira who said that the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, said. I swear by him in whose hand is my soul. This world will not perish. Until a person pass by a grave. He will now roll on that grave. He will roll himself on that grave. And he will say, Ya laytani. Oh, who to me? Makana sahibi hadha al-qabri. I should be in the position of this person in the grave. Walaysa bihi day. The reason why he's saying that is not because he has any debt on him. Wa ma bihi illa al-bala. There is nothing why he wish for death except because of calamities. Mutafakun ali. So this is how serious calamities will be at the end of time. That people will wish that they are, they, are, they are in the place of those who are dead in the grave. 
They will walk by a grave and they will, they will roll themselves on it and they wish they are dead. There is no, there is no depth on them. No depth on them. But because of the seriousness of calamity, قال الشيخ عبد الله البخاري حفظه الله تعالى في محاضرة بعنوان الفتنة خطرها وأسبابها وموقف المسلم منها التي ألقاها يوم الثلاثاء الثامن والعشرين من شهر شعبان عام واحد وأربعين وأربعمائة وألف That is 28 شعبان 1441 هجرية في محاضرة هاتفية للإخوة في المكتبة الموحدين بالتعاون مع دعوة الأنبياء في دولة تركيا So Sheikh Rabbi Bukhari said in this a lecture so that is titled الفتنة خطرها وأسبابها وموقف المسلم منها Sheikh Rabbi Bukhari said والمتأمل في التاريخ عامة whoever ponders on history generally وبخاصة في الفتن and in fitan specifically التي حلت بالأمم عامة that occurred to the umam the civilizations that has preceded us generations that has preceded us generally يجد عمرا ظاهرا جليجا you will see a clear apparent affair على and that is وهو أن الفتن that is trials Tribulations, calamities, لا تعرف صغيرا ولا كبيرا. He does not know who is young or who is old. ولا ذكر ولا أنثى. He does not know who is a male or who is a female. ولا مسؤولا ولا غير مسؤول. And he does not know who is in charge of responsibility, who is being asked about the affair, or the one who is not being asked. ولا مؤمنا ولا غير مؤمن. Fitna does not know the person who is a believer or who is not a believer. But rather, إِذَا وَجَدَتِ الْمَكَانَ الْمُنَاسِبِ When Fitna finds an appropriate uh, place لِذُهُورِهَا To appear, بَزَغَتْ It sprouts out. It sprouts out. وَإِذَا وَجَدَتِ الْأَرْضَ الْخَصْبَ Whenever it finds a fertile land لِنَبَاتِهَا For its Our crops are what are what her what that her it will irrigate it and not all it one am at the her and it will grow in it had to to be who baroque in a more record until it become like like fiery volcanoes was a la zila would a mirror and destructive earthquakes نعوذ بالله من الفتن وأهلها نعوذ بالله من الفتن وأهلها ابن تيمية رحمه الله تعالى said إن منهاج السنة النبوية والفتنة and trials and tribulations and calamities إذا وقعت when it happens عجز العقلاء فيها عن دفع سفها those who are intelligent those who are sensible those who are intellectuals they will be incapable of Preventing the foolish ones in it. So those who are elders will now be, become incapable. And it will fitna to extinguish the fitna. And to restrain it, the people of fitna. And this is the situation of calamities. Just like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. لا تصيبن الذين ظلموا منكم خاصة and fear a calamity a trial, a tribulation that will not affect only those who are oppressors from you alone وَإِذَا وَقُعَتِ الْفِتْنَةِ whenever calamity occurs لَمْ يَسْلَمْ مِنْ تَلَوُّثِ بِهَا وَإِذَا وَقُعَتِ الْفِتْنَةِ whenever fitna occurs لَمْ يَسْلَمْ مِنْ تَلَوُّثِ بِهَا no one will be free from being Uh, mixed into it, falling into it, illa man asamahu Allah, except the one that Allah subhanahu wa taala protects. Al Imam Al-Ajuri rahimahu Allah taala said in Al-Shari'ah, "For in the fitna, for indeed fitna, calamities, trials, and tribulations, ala wujuhin kathira, 
is it on different faces and types. Qad madu minha fitanun azima. Some great calamities have passed from it. Naja minha aqwamun. Some people were saved from it. Wa halaka fiha aqwamun. And some people were destroyed by it. Bitiba'ihimul hawa. Because of following their desires. Wa itharihim li dunya. And because they give preference to this world. Faman arad Allah ta'ala bihi khayran. Umsayaba Allah intends good for. Fataha lahu baba dua. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will open the door of dua for him. Waltaja ila maulahu al kareem. And he will return back to his Mawla, his Savior. So his guardian. So Al Kareem, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wahafa ala dinihi. And he will fear his religion. Wahafi dhali sanahu. And he will protect his tongue. He will safeguard his tongue. Wahafa zamanahu. And he will know his time. Walazim al hujjat al wadiha. And he will stick to the clear evidence. As sawad al a'adham. The jama'ah walam yata walam yata lawan fi dinihi, and he will not change his positions and and the color in his religion. Wa abida Rabbahu Taala, and he will worship his Lord. Fataruku lkhodi fil fitna, so living, ah, delving into fitna, as we come to explain the meaning of this, insha Allah. So fataruka lkhoda fil fitna, so he will live delving into fitna. Fa inna al fitna ta. Because calamity, يَفْتَدِحُ عِنْدَهَا خَلْقٌ كَثِيرٌ So a lot of the people become disgraced by fitna. So this is why we are discussing this affair today. So a very, very important affair. So that is why you will see that the, the, the scholars of Sunnah, in all times and age, they have given importance to this topic. They have written on it, discussed it. So so many books have been written about it. So the person... In these times, in these times of Vitan, there are some of the books that we should try as much as possible to get our, ourselves conversant with. Its meaning, its application, the reasons for, for safety in the times of Vitan. So what is the meaning of Vitan itself? Qal al-Hafid ibn al-Hajar, rahimahullahu ta'ala, al-Hafid ibn al-Hajar said in Fathul Bari, so in Kitab al-Fitna, Kitab al-Fitan, he said, Qal al-Raghibu, he said, Wal fitanu jama u fitna. Al fitan is the plural of fitna. Qal al raghibu, al raghibu said, Aslu al fitan, the foundation of the word fitan, it khalu dhahabi fin nar. It is imputing gold into fire. Litadhara jaudatu hu min radaati. So that what is of good quality can become clear from what is of poor quality from it. While you stamen, the word fitna is also used. Fi edhal il insan in nara, in imputing a person into fire. While you tulak wa ala al azab, it is also used, generally used for a azab, that is affliction or punishment. Ka qawlihi, like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, dhuku fitnatakum. That is, ذوقوا عذابكم وعلى ما يحصل عند العذاب. فتنة can also mean what happens during ah the punishment, the things that happen when a person is being punished, when calamity afflicts a person. They also generally use فتنة for that. تقوله تعالى like the statement of Allah. Allah says, Allah says, ألا في الفتنة سقطوا. Indeed, in the فتنة they are falling into. وعلى الاختبار فتنة is also generally used for test for test كقوله like Allah سبحانه وتعالى says وفتنك فتونا so Allah سبحانه وتعالى says this about نبي الله موسى so I will test you so وفيما يرفع إليه الإنسان فتن can also be used for what a person will a what will be the result of a person? What a person will do? So, mean sheep that in when he is in hardship, or when he is at his. Wafi sheep that he has haru ma'anan. 
But when it is had, when in hardship, the meaning is, 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 is clearer. And it is used more in hardship. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, we test you with good and evil as, as a fitna for you. <coughs> also from it is the statement of Allah. So they could almost uh, put you into fitna. So I, so uh, Ibn Hajar is quoting from Aragib that, that is, they want to put you into a calamity. Was it that in and into hardship? By turning your face away from what has been revealed to you. Ibn Hajar says that he also said, that is, Arwagib also said, Al fitna tu fitna takunu min al afa'ali sadirati min Allah. Fitna can be from the actions that come from Allah. It can also be from the actions of the slave. At the end of the day, everything turns back to Allah. So like calamities, and afflictions, and death, and punishment, and sins, and other than that from the things that are detested. So if fitna is from Allah, فَهِيَ عَلَىٰ وَجْهِ الْحِكْمَةِ It is due to a wisdom. وَإِنْ كَانَتْ مِنَ الْإِنسَانِ بِغَيْرِ أَمْرِ اللَّهِ If fitna emanates from the action of a person without the command of Allah, فَهِيَ مَذْمُومَ It is blameworthy. فَقَدْ ذَمَّ اللَّهُ الْإِنسَانِ So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blamed the person. By fitna, by uh, by licensing fitna or by accosting fitna, like Allah subhanahu wa taala said, "Wal fitna tu ashadu min al qatil." So fitna is greater than qatil. We we'll come to all of, all of this. Wa qawluhu and the statement of Allah in al ladina fatanu al mu'minina wal mu'minat. So when fitna comes from a slave, it is blameworthy. When you are causing fitna, it is blameworthy. When it's from Allah, it is due to what? It is due to a, a, a hikmah. And the statement of Allah, مَا أَنْتُمْ عَلَيْهِ بِفَاتِنِينَ So in Surah Al-Safat, so مَا أَنْتُمْ عَلَيْهِ بِفَاتِنِينَ You are not going to be tested uh, with it. That is what those jinn are doing. So إِلَّا مَنْ هُوَ صَرِ الْجَحِينَ وَقَوْلُهُ بِأَيِّكُمُ الْمَفْتُونَ So, and we will soon know which of you is afflicted. And like the statement of Allah, Be careful of them so that they, they, could not, they should not put you into fitna. Ibn Hajar Anan says, Oran and Arwagib said, Aslul fitnati al The basis, the origin of the word fitna is al ikhtibar, test. Then it's now used for anything that tests and trials result to from things that are detested. The origin of the word fitna is al ikhtibar. Now it is also now used for whatever that test and trial results to from things that are what that are detested. So if, if Allah tests a person and he, he passes, probably you will not call it fitna. But when, you, when Allah tests a person and he fails, you know what? You will not call it a fitna. So that is the meaning of this. Then fitna is used for anything that is detested. Or that results into fitna. Kal kufri. So, like disbelief, wal ithmi, and sin, wa tahrir, and burning, wal fadiha, and disgrace, wal fujur, and lewd sins, wa and other than that. In daha kalamuhu rahimahullah. So, that is the meaning of fitna from the statement of 
Al-Hafidh ibn Hajar rahimahullah ta'ala. Let us read a little bit from the statement of Al-Imam ibn Al-Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala regarding the definition of fitna. Ibn Al-Qayyim says in Ghothatul Lahvan, he says, Lafzul fitna. The word fitna fi kitab Allah ta'ala in the book of Allah the Most High yuradu biha al-intihan. What is intended by it is test or trial. Alladhi lam yaftatin sahibuhu that the person afflicted with that trial how are we going to to iftatana fatana hu faftatana he afflicted him so he became afflicted so alladhi lam yaftatin sahibuhu so it can be used for a fitna that the person that is afflicted with this has not become afflicted. <laughs> Allah understand. <laughs> so it can be used for, but if you understand mutawa. So fatana hu faftatana. So he tested him, so he failed the test, or he become tested. So, so Ibn Qayyim says that it can be used for a fitna that a person failed. Bal khalu swamina liftita alevi ilam yiftatan sahibuhu so it can be used for a fitna that the person has not failed. The person has not become muftatan. Bal khalus wa min al-iftitan. Rather, he was saved from being afflicted. Wa yuradu biha al-imtihan. Alladhi hasola ma'ahu iftitan. And also, fitna can also mean al-imtihan. A trial that a person become afflicted with it. Fa min al-awwal, from the first. Qawluhu ta'ala li Musa. So, famine al awal was the first one. A fitna that the person become that, that is not afflicted with, right? Because when they test you, it is either you pass or you, you fail. When you fail, you become muftatan. So, ah, uh, almost true, as Abu said. So, uh, famine al awal from the first, qawluhu ta'ala li Musa. So, the statement of Allah to Nabi Allah Musa that, wa fatanaka futuna. So that is, and we tested you with great trials. So that is, Nabi Allah Musa passed those trials. So they can use fitna for a test that someone passed. Wamina Thari, from the second one, Qawluhu Ta'ala, the statement of Allah that, Waqatiluhum, that is this, which second one is this one? A fitna that a person was tried with and, and failed. وَقَاتِلُوهُمْ حَتَّى لَا تَكُونَ فِتْنَةً So fight them until there is no fitna. So, and also, وَقَوْلُهُ عَلَى فِي الْفِتْنَةِ سَقَطُوا So it is in trials that they fell into. وَيُطْلَقُ عَلَى مَا يَتَنَاوَلُ الْأَمْرَيْنِ Also, fitna doesn't mean that it can be used for only one of these two things. It can be used for what cannot be as specific for one of these two things. That is, fitna can be for something that it doesn't mean that the person has passed it, nor does it mean that the person has, has failed it. So, like the statement of Allah, Alif la amin, ahasib an nasu an yutraku an yakulu amanna wa hum la yuftanun. So, this fitna, so they are not saying here that someone has passed, nor are they saying that someone has what? Has failed. So, wa la qadifatanna alladhina min qablihim. We have tested those who came before them. فَلَيَعْلَمَنَّ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ صَدَقُوا So that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can show those who are truthful. وَلَيَعْلَمَنَّ الْكَاذِبِينَ And so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can show those who are liars. وَمِنْهُ قَوْلُ مُوسَى عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامُ And from the fitna that it doesn't mean that the person has passed or failed is the statement of Musa that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala narrates to us in the Quran. إِنْ هِيَ إِلَّا فِتْنَتُكَ It is nothing but your own trials, but your trials. To deal with her and Tasha, you misguide with it whomsoever you want. What are demon Tasha and you guide whomsoever you want? Ibn al Qayyim says, What to lack will fit not to Allah am meaning that it and fit not can be used for what is even more general than this. So, fit not can be used for what is even more general than this. And he proceeds to explain, we can, we can go back to the government to laugh around for this. So, this is the meaning of fitna. So this is the, as Sheikh Abdullah al-Bukhari will say, this is al-mihwaru, al-mihwaru al-awwal. So this is the first 
our point of discussion. So, but the title of the of the muhadara of the discussion is safety from how, how we can attain safety from fitna or steadfastness. So, athabat. Now, let us look at what is the meaning of athabat as well. قال الشيخ عبد الله البخاري في محاضرة بعنوان الثبات على السنة الذي ألقي يوم الجمعة سأتاس من من شهر ذي القعدة عام ألف وأربعمائة وخم وخمسة وأربعين ذي القعدة الثبات على على السنة الثبات الثبات على السنة محاضرة بعنوان الثبات على السنة تعرفونها نعم المحاضرة قريبة الموافق ل 17th of May 2024 so بعد العشاء بجامع سيد الشهداء بالمدينة النبوية شيخ عبد الله شيخ عبد الله البخاري said here فأول المحاور the first point of discussion في بيان معنى الثبات لغة وصلاحا to explain the meaning of الثبات linguistically and the uh, technical usage وبيان محله and to explain it where is where is where is the where is ثبات located الثبات المفرد منه ثبت so الثبات المفرد منه ثبت so when we say ثبات so the singular is ثبت يقال ثبت الشيء يثبت ثباتا بالفتح وثبوتا بالضم وثبوتاً بالضم so Ibn Malik says وفعل اللازم مثل قعدة له فعول باتراد تغدى وفعل اللازم مثل قعدة له فعول باتراد تغدى let us go back to the statement of Sheikh Allah al-Bukhari فهو ثابت وثبيت وثبت وثبت بفتح وسكون أيضا ويقال شيء ثبت so when you say something is ثبت أي ثابت that is it is what it is firm وأثبته هو وأثبته بمعنى واحد when you say ثبت and أثبت it is the same thing that is something became firm يقال ثبت فلان في المكان يثبت ثبوتا when you say a person ثبت في المكان that is إذا قام به when he, was, when he stays in it, walazimahu, and he sticks to it. Fahuwa thabitun. Wa thabitu, a thabitu al-aqli. Wa thabitu, a thabitu al-aqli. So a thabit is someone whose intellect is firm. So, wa thabitu aydan, a thabitu al-quwati wal-aqli. A thabit also can mean someone who is firm in power and intellect. ورجل ثبت الجنان من رجال ثبت so ورجل ثبت الجنان من رجال ثبت so وثبت 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 القدم بمعنى لم يزل في خصام أو قتال so وثبت القدم when you say ثبت القدم that is it did not deviate في خصام أو قتال in a dispute or in a fight ويقال رجل ثبت so ويقال رجل ثبت وثبيت so Abu Kathar has mentioned something similar to this so ويقال رجل ثبت وثبيت when he said a person is ثبت أو ثبيت أي أنه رجل عاقل is a sensible person متماسك is he hold on to the truth firmly قليل قليل الشغضة والطيش this, I did not get it very well, what the, what the Sheikh was saying there, while I was transcribing it. So, قليلو, قليلو or something. وطيش. So, it is someone that is firm, and it, it has little, uh, what do we call it? Little toish. What is toish? A toish is... Allah who stands. So... So, someone who is not hasty and restless. restless. So, it's original. So, what is used to tighten 
uh, what do we call it? Uh, a property or something. Liyathbut. Wal muthbatu man la haraka lahu min al marad. Al muthbatu is someone who has no movement due to sickness. Yuqalu ah uh, asbata fulanun fahuwa muthbi fahuwa muthbitun. It is said that asbata fulanun fahuwa muthbitun or fahuwa muthbatun. إذا اشتدت به العلة مثبت someone who is what who whose sickness is severe والمرض and sickness فثبت على فراشه and is what is on his bed وكذا المثبت بالكسل هو من ثقل من 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 كبار أو غيره so من كبار أو غيره so مثبت is someone who has become heavy due to being hold or other than it watasabbab lahu dhalik so that resulted to him luzuma fi rashihi sticking to his uh, his bed wa adam min hiraki minhu and not moving from it wa minhu qawluhu aw qul aw aw qawluhum from it is also their statement bihi da'un thubatun so bihi da'un Thubatun. So when you see fu'al, fu'al in Arabic language, it is it is sickness. So it is it 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 means it is always it is mostly used for sickness. Fu'alun. Ibn Malik says, "Lida fu'alun, aw li mautin, lida fu'alun, aw li mautin wa marad." لدافعالون أو لموت ورمرض شيء في سياق هذا. so فعال means sickness in Arabic. so فباتون that is a sickness. so صداع زكام وأنتم تعرفونه. so أي معجز له عن الحركة. so that is he cannot move again. معجز له عن الحركة. وأثبت شيء معرفة أي قتله علما. وفي قوله تعالى ليثبتوك اي لي ليجرحوك so that they can harm you جراحة a type of harming لا تقوم منها you will not stand from it فيحبسوك به so they will, none, they, will none, uh, they will prison imprison you with it ومنه قولهم from it is also their statement ضربوه حتى اثبتوه يعني اثخنوه so they beat him until they what? Atta athbatu. Until they, they made him incapable of movement. Wa yuqalu fulanun thabatun min al athbat. Aha. This is what Abu Kathar mentioned before. Wa yuqalu thabatun fulanun thabatun min al athbat. Iza kana hujjatan li thiqatihi fi riwaya. When they say someone is thabat, you read it a lot in the, in the books of Ah, the scholars. That al-alim al-alama al-thabatu bil-fatih. So that is, إذا كان حجة لثقته في الرواية وهو جمع ثبت الأثبات جمع ثبت محرك وقد يسكن. You can also find this. They will instead of thabat, they will say what? Thabatu. وقد يسكن وسطه. وَلِهَذَا يُقَالُ So Shaykh Allah al-Bukhari said that that is why they say لَا أَحْكُمُ بِكَذَا إِلَّا بِثَبَتٍ I can't rule on this except be thabat اي بحجة except with what? with proof وَالثَبَتُ بِالتَّحْرِيكِ الْحُجَّةُ وَالْبَجِّنَةِ الثَبَتُ الْحُجَّةُ وَالْبَجِّنَةِ ثَبَّتَ أو تثبت في الأمر والرأي واستثبت إذا تأنى فيه ولم يتعجل ثبت أو تثبت في الأمر والرأي واستثبت إذا تأنى فيه when he is not rushing in it ولم يتعجل so واستثبت فيه إذا شاور وفحص عنه when he seeks consultation and he, he makes finding about it. Wasabatu muharraka. 
هو الفهرس الذي يجمع فيه المحدث مروياته الثبت بالمحركة هو الفهرس when you see thabat sometimes when you look at some of the uh, ijazat of the mashayikh or some of the things that their scholars wrote for them what do they write at the beginning? thabat thabatu so thabat they will write it there well, the meaning of thabat is al-fihris it is a catalog al-ladhi yajma'u fihi al-muhadithu marwiyatihi where a scholar of hadith gathers his narrations wa ashia wa ashia khahu and his teacher ka annahu ukhidha min al-hujja it is as though thabat, that thabat is taken from hujja because we have said before al-thabatu muharraka al-hujja wal-bayyina right? So, a thabatu can also mean a catalog. So, where the muhaddith writes all of his sheikh and all of his marwiyat. So, if you are conversant with hadith and the way scholars of hadith they wrote ijazat or some things for their students, they wrote thabat, thabatu sheikh, kada. Now, so there are some books also written as athbat. Athbat. So, it is as though it is taken from Al-Hujjah. That we have pointed to before. Because his chains and his teachers there is proofs. There is proofs. Also it is said Athbat Fulan Usma Fulan أثبت فلان اسم فلان أي كتبه أي كتبه يروت إسلام وقول ثابت أي صحيح قول ثابت is authentic statement عموما جنرالي الثبات إذا الثبات then إذا إذا نخرج من هذه المعاني we derive from all of this meaning ما قيل في معنى ثبات what is said regarding the meaning of Thabata. From all of this meaning we have looked at, and this is why you see the importance of a student of knowledge having a dictionary. In fact, memorizing a dictionary. A student of knowledge should at least memorize one dictionary. So he should at least memorize one dictionary. Because one thing, we make one mistake. Now we will not teach you words. Now we will only teach you the correct form of grammars. When you are learning English, was it English grammar, Concord, and those things that, that taught you English words? You learn English words. You read passages. You read this. You read that. In fact, that is where to start from. When you are in, when you are in your nursery schools, did they start from grammar with you or they start from passages? They start from passages. Go, come, all of these short, short ones. They didn't start from nahu, grammar. This is one of the mistakes that we make in, in the way we learn today. A student of knowledge has to have at least, at least, a dictionary memorized. And the scholars have, have advised with Al Misbah al Munir, Il Fayumi. So Al Misbah al Munir, Il Fayumi, that a person can memorize it. Because Jama al al Fuqaha. So he, he gathered the statement of, of, uh, of Al Fuqaha. So Al Misbah al Munir, Sharhu, Li Al Fadi Sharh al Kabir, Li Rafi'i. So he said, a woman. So when all of this meaning, when they are firm in your brain, there is nothing you will meet, you will be able to punctualize it very well. Sabatu. You will not feel Sabatu Sheikh. Sabata Sheikh. What's this Sabatu now? So you know that, oh, Sabatu. So, and the Sabata fi Lugo, Yeduru Hawla Tamakun. Sheikh Lalo Khali said that. Asabatu linguistically Yaduru hawla tamakun So revolves around steadfastness Wal istiqrar And being firm Wal dawam And sticking to something Wal luzum Mimma huwa diddul harakati wal irtijaj Which is the opposite of moving or shaking 
So from all of this meaning, this is what we have been able to, this is what Sheikh Abdullah al-Bukhari has been able to gather for you. Now you see the, the beauty of why Sheikh does this. Amma fil istilah, Sheikh Abdullah al-Bukhari says, but technically, فيقول الحافظ النووي الحافظ النووي says رحمه الله في شرح مسلم that الثبات على ذلك من قولهم بركة الإبل أي ثبتت when a camel when it sits down so they, they say ثبتت <coughs> ثبتت على الأرض وقال ابن حجر ابن حجر says رحمه الله في الفتح في قوله عليه الصلاة عليه الصلاة والسلام أثبت أثبت أحد بلفظ الأمر من الثبات وهو الاستقرار وهو الاستقرار that is الثبات means الاستقرار being firm on something وقال المناوي في الفيل المناوي في الفيل said الثبات التمكن الثبات means being firm في الموضع الذي شأنه الاستزلال in a place where most people fail or most people sleep or where it is most likely to sleep so قال المنوي شيخ الله بخاري says المنوي says الثبات الثبات التمكن في موضع الذي شأنه الاستزلال being firm in a position where are where people fall قال وقال الراغب Sheikh Abdullah al-Bukhari says, Ar-Waghib said, Al-Thabat diddu al-Zawal. You call Thabat al-Rajul. Al-Thabat is the opposite of Al-Zawal. Sleeping, sleeping away. Or something disappearing. Or wiping away. So, You call Thabat al-Rajul fi al-Amri wa stathbata bi ma'na al-Wahid. وَهُوَ التَّأَنِّي وَعَدَمِ الْأَجَلَ It is when a person is calm. ثَبَّتَ الرَّجُلُ When it is calm and he is not hasty. So Sheikh Lala Khari concludes, he says, نُخْلِسُ مِنْ هَذَا We are going to conclude from it. أَنَّ ثَبَاتَ فِي الْإِسْتِلَاحِ That a thabat in the technical usage يُمْكِنْ عَنْ يُقَالَ فِيهِ It is possible to say regarding it هو دوام الاستقامة. so this is now the تلخيص that Sheikh Al Bukhari derived from all of these definitions. هو دوام الاستقامة. it is sticking to steadfastness. والاستقرار and firmness. ولزوم الصراط المستقيم and sticking to the right path. وَهُوَ الْهُدَى and it is the guidance the guidance so مِنْ غَيْرِ عِوَجِ without crookedness وَلَا نْحِرَافِ or deviation بِسَبَبِ دَاعِ الْجَهْلِ or deviation due to ignorance وَالْهَوَى or desires وَالشَّهْوَى or or lost so this is the meaning of al-thabat. So from the statement of our Shaykh Abdullah al-Bukhari, rahimahullah ta'ala, hafidhahullah ta'ala wa ru'an. So this is al-thabat and this is the meaning of fitan. Now when we know this, there are some fitan of different types. So fitan are of are different types. So and they are of different uh, different impacts. There are some fitan that are very very powerful, very very general, affecting everyone, and. Uh, having effect on most people. So that is why the scholars they say fitna, we have al fitna to al amma and we have al fitna to al khasa. So al fitna al amma 
So in general fitna that affect everyone. And al fitna to al khasa. So a specific or individual fitna that you face. Like the fitna of one's wealth and, and children. So that is also fitna. But that is fitna khasa. So, and some other terminologies that the scholars have used to uh, describe fitna. So let us start from those ones that are very powerful. That are am. That are modelahim. That are mutatalia. Mutarokima. Uh, whatever, whatever word you can, you can think, think of again. So al fitanu al kabira. So great calamities and trials. So al amma that afflict, that will afflict many people. Al mudahimma that is destructive. Al mutataliya that will follow one another. That will follow one another. Al mutarakima that will compile on one another. So from the first of these type of fitna, al fitna al amma. Is intishar al riddati wal kufri wal nifaqi wal ilhadi wal zandaqa. Intishar al ridda wal kufri wal nifaqi wal ilhadi wal zandaqa. So the first of it and that is great, that is destructive, that spreads all around, that affects almost everybody is the widespread of disbelief, the widespread of apostasy, the widespread of nifaq, hypocrisy, the, wise, with the widespread of al-ilhad, al-ilhad, not, uh, not believing in God, okay. Uh, atheism. Atheism. atheism, yes. Atheism, al-ilhad, was zandaqa, so an uh, apostasy. Now, what is the evidence that this is a fitna? What is the evidence that this is a fitna? What is the evidence that this is a fitna? What is, a, what is an evidence that it is mudlahimma, it is destructive? What is an evidence that it is mutataliya, that it will follow one another? The fact that we are even mentioning kufr itself is a fitna. It, it should let us know this. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, well, fitna too. So the meaning of fitna here is al kufru. Wal kufru ashaddu min al qatl. So Abu Huraira radiyallahu anhu narrates that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said badiru bil a'mali fitanan hissin Towards righteous actions before some calamities. Like the drop of a dark night. A person will wake up in the morning as a believer. And by the evening he is a disbeliever. In the evening, he is a believer. And by the morning, he is a disbeliever. He will sell his religion for something of the, of the worldly life. The Prophet وسلم, is telling us that there will be many riddah at the end of time. The fitness of people leaving their religion. Fitness of people accepting uh, athe atheism. Fitna of, of a Muslim selling his deen for the purpose for, for the media dunya. The Prophet said, Badiru bil a'mali fitanan. What is the Arab of fitanan? Badiru bil a'mali fitanan. Eh? Badiru bil a'mali fitanan. So, Al Imam al Nawawi rahimahullah ta'ala said, Ma'na al hadith, the, ma the meaning of this hadith. الحث على المبادرة إلى الأعمال الصالحة. So this hadith is asking us to do righteous actions قبل تعذرها before it becomes hard. 
وَلِشْتِغَالِ عَنْهَا And before people are being occupied away from righteous actions بِمَا يَحْدُثُ مِنَ الْفِتَنِ Because of what are cause of trials أَشَّاغِلَةِ الْمُتَكَافِرَةِ الْمُتَرَاكِمَةِ Trials and tribulations that will occupy people. Make sure you are doing good deeds today. Make sure you are you busy yourself with righteous actions today. There will come a time, fit, fit and will happen. One will follow the other and you will not have time for anything again. Only just to save yourself from it. So, المتكاثرت المتراكمة كتراكم ذلام الليل So they will pile on one another. The fit and that, are, that will follow one another Tarao kama, they will pile on one another. Katarao kumi dhulami lay. Like the way the darkness pile on one, uh, one another. Alaylul muslim. So a, 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 a dark night, the way it, that darkness, the way it pile on one another, you can't see anything. Lal mukmir. Not a night that is illuminated with the moon. Wa wasafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam anawan min al-shada'id. من شدائه تلك الفتن. so Imam Al Imam now he says that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم describes a type from the severity of that fitan. وهو أنه يمسي مؤمنا. and that is that a person will be in the evening a believer. ثم يصبح كافرا. and by the morning he will become a disbeliever. Allah this is happening today. أو عكسه. So, in fact, this is happening, to, we come to this. So, this is happening to people claiming to be Salafis. People can claim, claiming to be Salafis. One day they just decide, I'm no longer doing anything again. Look at this one that died recently that Sheikh Munir talked about. Hani, what's his name? Hani Barak, what's his name? He's not. Hani uh, Bureko. So, there's. One, what's his name? So Sheikh Munir, Sheikh Munir talked about him recently. So look at him. He's, he's a poet. So one of those that are regarded as intellectuals. So this person, they said, when he was still a Muslim, he used to sleep in the masjid. He used to observe the salawat. He himself said it. He said, wa kuntu a'alifu. Kama ya'alifu. He said, I used to eat crops. Then, he was describing when he was in Islam. When I used to eat crops, the same way the goats used to eat crops. Describing when he was in Islam, he wrote poems to, to insult Allah. What lie? Someone who was once, once a Muslim. So don't be surprised. Those are, the, those are the ones that announce their disbelief. Now imagine those that continue to think they are Muslim and they have left Islam. Those are, the, those are the ones that announce their disbelief. What of those that they think they are Muslims and they have left Islam? I remember now he says, Our Aksuhu, or the opposite of it, that is, he will be a Muslim, a believer in the morning, and by the evening he will become a kafir. Shaka Rawi. This is due to the greatness of, of the calamities. Yanqalibul insan fil yawmil wahid. A person will change in a single day. Hadal inqilab, this type of change. Wallahu alam. And Allah knows best. So, Sharhu Sahih Muslim of Imam Nawal. Another evidence that this is a great thing. This is something, this is from the greatest of fitna that the Prophet وسلم, warned us about. A fitna that is so great that affects everything, that will affect many people. So, because the more times the, the more time passes, the more those things occur that will take people into disbelief. So the jal will come. So the salafuna the jaluna kezabun. They will come before the uh, the jal, the great jal himself. So many things like that that will lead to people at the end of time, they will not know anything about Islam again. So Abu Musa al Ash'ari. Narrates in what is in Sunan Abi Dawood and Muslim of Imam Ahmad that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said, In Nabayna Yadi Sa'a Fitanan, 
inna baina yadayi sa'a fitanan so before the hour there are some calamities kaqitu al layl al mudhim like the drop of the dark night yusbihu ar rajulu fiha mu'minan a person will wake up as a mu'min wa yumsi kafiran and in the evening he will become a disbeliever wa yumsi mu'minan in the evening he will be a believer wa yusbihu kafiran and by the morning he will be a disbeliever al qa'idu fiha khairun min al qa'im al qa'idu fiha khairun min al qa'im when those fitna happen the one sitting is better than the one standing wal mashi fiha khairun min al sa'i the one walking is better than the one running fakassiru kisiyyakum kisiyyakum the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said when this fitna happen break your bows the sea is the jamma of qaws so break your bows wa qati'u awtarakum and cut your uh, uh, your strings so the, the bow and the string wasbiru a wadribu suyufakum bil hijara and and break your swords so break your swords don't don't engage in that fitna fa in dukhila ala ahadin minkum and if any if they enter upon one of you falyakun ka khair ibn adam be the best of the two sons of adam which one the one that was killed so uh this is this is a fitna al hafiz ibn kathir rahimahullah ta'ala said in تفسير القرآن العظيم يقول تعالى على سيس مخبرا عن صفات قوم من المكذبين describing the attribute of some people from those who belie the truth الذين يدعون الإيمان those who claim belief بألسنتهم with their tongue ولم يث with their tongues ولم يثبت الإيمان في قلوبهم and belief has not become firm in their heart بأنهم إذا جاءتهم فتنة ومحنة في الدنيا that whenever a calamity or a trial comes to them in this world اعتقدوا هذا من نقمة الله تعالى بهم they will think that this is a punishment of Allah to them فارتدوا عن الإسلام so they will leave Islam ولهذا قال that is why Allah says ومن الناس ومن الناس and there are some people من يقول آمنا بالله those who say we believe in Allah فإذا أوذي في الله when Allah أكبر فإذا أوذي في الله whenever he is afflicted for the sake of Allah or on the path of Allah جعل فتنة الناس كعذاب الله he will equate the fitna of Allah with the punishment of the people. Because ah, if this person, if this person I'm doing it for is not giving me what I want, then let me let me just leave him. So because if someone is punishing you while you are doing something for him, just say, ah, let me leave this person. Now those same people they will ja'ala fitnat ah ja'ala fitnat an nasi ka'adabillah. They will also turn the punishment of Allah, they will equate between the punishment of Allah and the fitness of the people that are, when Allah is not giving me what I want, let me also leave it. So, Qal Ibn Abbas, Ibn Kathir says, Ibn Abbas says, يعني فتنته is fitna أن يرتد عن دينه That is, he will leave his, that is, he should leave his religion إذا أوذي في الله when he is afflicted in the path of Allah والله لا تبلغون you are going to be tested. We are going to be tested. You are going to be shake, shaking, if that is correct. So we are going to be tried and tested and heated. So, and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will know who is, go, who is still going to be firm on, on his religion. 
So an Allah is, subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to know who is going to abandon his religion. So there are little statements that are still here, but due to the brevity of, uh, what do you call it? So of the discussion. So, in Tariq Damask, and he said the Kafir is studying before. So, ta Tariq Damask, imagine 80 volumes. So, Tariq Damask. So, a book, a very useful book. So, but is it a book for every student of knowledge? No. So, no. So, a person goes gathering knowledge. Goes gathering knowledge. Don't just gather books so that they can enter your house and after they enter the, the, the city room, then you just take them to the library. Enter here too, look. <laughs> but what have you benefited from what, what have you benefited from it? So what have you benefited from it? So uh Jubair ibn Ibn Nafir said, the call to Allah Abi Darda. So I entered upon Abi Darda. So Manzila will be him. In his house in Hims. He was standing, praying, observing Salah in his, in his masjid. When he sat down to do the tashahud, So Abu Darda, Abu Darda, the one that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, so that the one the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam praised. So, and there's a hadith in Tirmidhi. There's a hadith in Tirmidhi. La, la yahduri lil an, uh, the authenticity. So I don't remember the authenticity. Perhaps I leave it. So, ah, uh, this companion of the Prophet started seeking protection with Allah from Nifaq. When he finished, I said to him, that is Jubair narrating this, May Allah forgive you, Abu, Abu Darda. Hmm. Look at this statement. What is with you and what, is, uh, what do you have to do with Nifaq? You are a companion of the Prophet. Said, Ma sha'nuka wa sha'nu nifaq. What do you have to do with nifaq? What is your affair with the affair of nifaq? Faqala Abu Darda said, Allahumma gufran. Allahumma gufran. Allahumma gufran. So, oh Allah forgive. Oh Allah forgiveness. Oh Allah forgiveness. So Thalathan, he said this uh, thrice. So he said this thrice. And we all know in our Nahu that most of when you erase something sometimes, when you erase something sometimes, nothing will rot, we take Nasu. Most, not every, every situation. So when, when you erase something sometimes, so to what? It will take Nasbu. That is why you see that all many of the Asalib and Nahuya, they have Nasbu. So Gufran, Sabran. So that is Egufir, Gufran, Isbir, Sabran. So La Ya'manul Bala. Man Ya'manul Bala. La Ya'manul Bala. Man Ya'manul Bala. You will not be saved from trials and tribulations. The one whose heart is at rest from trials and tribulations. Once you, once you give a khalas, after all of this muhadarat that we have attended, after all of this bayan, so Abu Darda said, La ya'manul bala, man ya'manul bala. Wallahi, Abu Darda said, I swear by Allah, in a rajula, indeed a person, La yuftina fi sa'atin wahida. He can be la yuftan fi sa'atin wahida. He can be afflicted in a single moment. Fayaqlibu an dinihi. And he will leave his religion. Wallahi, none of us know who is going to die upon this Islam. <coughs> if that is the case, then what are the ways we can pre uh, prevent this fitna? 
Because we have come in this Mahadura, we have come to learn about the Fitan and then the means to safety from them. The first thing to save ourselves from the fitna of Ridda, from the fit, from the fitna of apostasy, from the fitna of nifaq, hypocrisy, from the fitna of atheism, from the fitna of uh, of abandoning the religion of Allah. بعد أن مضى سنوات عابدا متزهدا والله يزيد عبد الله بن مبارك إن السنة للخلال السنة of على خلال so السنة على للخلال one of the one of the حفاظ أو the أكابر he said إذا رأيت إسنادا وقال فيه فلان زاهد فاغسل يديك منه. Look at this statement. He said whenever you see an isnad and he said the person that narrated this isnad is so 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 is a zahid. Wash your hand away from it. Because most most cases the scholars of hadith they have tajriba they have experience that most of these people that are zahid or something the hadith they narrate they are just like one legged hadith. So, but it doesn't mean ala itlaq. But they have experience with these things. So laysa ala itlaqin. So it doesn't mean that what it doesn't mean that we use it like that. But they are they are acquainted with this knowledge. They these who had they don't seek knowledge. That reminds me of another statement of Ibn Jawzi. So <laughs> in Asayid al Khatir. So Ibn Jawzi said that. So perhaps maybe maybe after this, inshallah. أَسْتَخْرِجُهُ وَأَبُثُهُ إِنْ شَاءَ اللَّهِ لِلْفَائِدَةِ لِي وَلَكُمْ إِنْ شَاءَ اللَّهِ So أَسْتَبَاتُ So the first thing we need to save ourselves from the fitna of Ridda the fitna of apostasy, atheism is أَسْتَبَاتُ أَسْتَبَاتُ عَلَى دِينِ الْإِسْلَامِ وَعَدَمُ الزَّعْزَعَةِ فِي وَالزَّلْزَلَةِ وَالْقَلْقَلَةِ وَغَيْرِهَا Asabatu ala din al Islam. You have to be firm on Islam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wa mina nasi man ya'budu allaha ala harf. Wa mina nasi man ya'budu allaha ala harf. There are some people they worship Allah on the edge. He's being a Muslim, he's on the edge. He's being a Salafi, he's on the edge. So when good afflicts him, so it's my nabi So he become at rest with it. Allah, that is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given some people good because that is what is good for them. Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given some people what they want because that is what is good for them. Of goodness. Give them wealth, houses, children. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given some people poverty. And not giving them what they want because that is what is good for them. So, Ibn Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala says, regarding a sabbat, Ibn Qayyim said in I'alam al Ibn Qayyim says, Watahta qawlihi. And under the statement of Allah, you said, Be to Allah who ladina amanu bil qawli thabit bil hayati dunya wa fil akhira. Under the statement, this statement of Allah, that Allah keeps firm, or Allah makes firm, Allah plants firm, those who believe with the firm statement. What do we call Al Qawlu Thabit? What do we call Al Qawlu Thabit? Someone has said it. So, from the statement of Sheikh Al Bukhari, Yani as Sahih. So, you say, Bitu Allahu Ladina Amanu Bil Qawli Thabiti, Fil Hayati Dunya wa Fil Akhira. So Allah plants those who believe firm with the call of Thabit and the call of Thabit كَمَا فَسَرَهُ الْمُفَسِرُونَ إِسْ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ In this world and in the hereafter. So كَنْزُنْ عَظِيمٌ Ibn Qayyim said there is a great treasure under this ayah. مَنْ وُفِّقَ لِمَظِنَّتِهِ Whoever is guided to his place وَأَحْسَنَ اسْتِخْرَاجَهِ and is able to bring it out. 
waksinaa unable to save it wa anfa minhu and he spends from this treasure the treasure of understanding this statement alone that yuthabbitu Allah alladhina amanu bil qawli thabit fi al-hayat dunya wa fi al-akhirah so faqad ghanim then he has become a wealthy wa man hurimahu faqad hurim and whoever is deprived of the treasures under the statement of Allah yuthabbitu Allah alladhina amanu bil qawli thabit whoever is deprived of it then he is deprived وَذَلِكَ أَنَّ الْعَبْدَ That is because a slave لَا يَسْتَغْنِي عَنْ تَثْبِيتِ اللَّهِ لَهُ طَرْفَةَ عَيْنِ He cannot suffice from Allah being firm, keeping him firm, planting him firm. So for a blink of an eye, if Allah leaves you alone for yourself, for a blink of an eye. So he continues, he says, فَإِنْ لَمْ يُثَبِّتْهُ If Allah does not keep him firm, وَإِلَّا زَالَتْ سَمَاءُ إِمَانِهِ وَأَرْضِهِ عَمَّا كَانِ إِمَا Look at the way Ibn Qayyim describe it. If Allah does not keep him firm, زَالَتْ سَمَاءُ إِمَانِهِ The top and the bottom of his iman, everything will crumble. وَقَرْ قَوْلَ تَعَالَى And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, لِأَكْرَمِ خَلْقِهِ عَلَيْهِ With the most noble of his creation to him, عَبْدِهِ وَرَسُولِهِ His slave and messenger, Allah says, وَلَوْ لَا أَنْثَبَّتْنَاكِ What did Sheikh Abdul Khawari explain this? ثَبَّتْ ثَبَّتْنَاكِ How did Sheikh Abdul Khawari mention this now? Here. لَا ثَبَّتْنَاكِ وَلَوْ لَا أَنْثَبَّتْنَاكِ لَقَدَ كِدْتَ تَلْكَنُ إِلَيْهِمْ شَيْئًا قَلِيلًا So Ibn Qayyim says, وَقَالَ تَعَالَى لِأَكْرَمِ خَلْقِهِ and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to the best of his creation, إِذْ يُوحِي رَبُّكَ إِلَى الْمَلَائِكَةِ أَنِّي مَعَكُمْ فَثَبِّتُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَفِي الصَّحِحَيْنِ مِنْ حَدِيثِ الْبَجَلِ قَالَ وَهُوَ يَسْأَلُهُمْ وَيُثَبِّتُهُمْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one asking them. At the same time, he is the one keeping them firm. وَقَالَ تَعَالَ لِرَسُولِهِ Allah said to his messenger, وَكُلَّنْ نَقُصُ عَلَيْكَ مِنْ أَنْبَاءِ الرُّسُلِ And every time we narrate to you from the stories of the messengers, مَا نُثَبِّتْ مَا نُثَبِّتُ بِهِ فُعَادَكَ What we use to strengthen your heart. فَالْخَلْقُ كُلُّهُمْ قِسْمَانِ Ibn Qayyim says, all of the creation are into two categories. مُوَفَّقٌ بِالْتَثْبِيتِ The one that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala died to be infirm. وَمَخْذُولٌ بِتَرْكِ التَّثْبِيتِ And the one whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala leaves alone and he does not, he does not uh, keep him firm. Uh, let us leave that statement of Ibn Qayyim. Ibn Taymiyyata rahimahu Allah ta'ala says that eh? وَاللَّهُ الْمُسْتَعَانِ وَاللَّهُ الْمُسْتَعَانِ والله المستعان قال الإمام ابن تيمية رحمه الله. so here I have with me 97 pages. so we are in page 14. so الله المستعان قال الإمام ابن تيمية رحمه الله. ابن تيمية says الثبات على العلم والإيمان being firm on knowledge and belief عند وقوع الفتن when calamity strikes, wa shubuhat and doubt, huwa min a'adha min ni'am, it is from the greatest of favors. Fa inna min al-nasi man yu'minu fi al-afiyah. Because among the people are those who believe when things are easy. Thumma iza futina rtadda. Then when he is afflicted, he apostatized from his religion. Fa yambaghi. So it is necessary to know أن يعلم أن ثباته على الإيمان عند الفتنة والشبهة. So it is important to know that when a person being firm on belief, doing trials and doing doing doubt, من أعظم النعم. It is from the greatest of our favors. So.
when in the in kitab ubadi al wahi in sahih al bukhari the story of Heraqil and uh, Abu Sufyan. When Heraqil was asking Abu Sufyan about the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, one of the things he asked him, he said, "Fahal yartadu ahadun minhum sukhtatan li dinihi or sukhtatan li dinihi baada an yadkhul fihi." So he's asking him about the companions that does any one of them leave his religion so after he has entered into it out of getting fed up with that religion and getting and getting angry with the deen. No people get angry with everything today. So that is the Western mentality. So get, getting angry with everything except yourself. So eh? Wallahu al musta'an. فَهَلْ يَرْتَدُّ أَحَرٌ مِّنْهُمْ سُخْتَةً لِدِينِهِ بَعْدَ أَنْ يَدْخُلَ فِيهِ قُلْتُ لَا Abu Sufyan said no. None from the companions after they enter into the religion of Islam, none of them leave their religion. Ibn Taymiyyah rahimahu Allah ta'ala says in Majmu' al-Fatawa أَمَّا أَهْلُ السُنَّةِ وَالْحَدِيثِ As for the, this statement is a statement that should be memorized. So as for the people of Sunnah and Hadith, فَمَا يُعْلَمُ أَحَدٌ مِنْ عُلَمَائِهِمْ So Shaykh al Qari mentioned it in the Kalimat of Titahiyah with him. It is not known with, any, with anyone from their scholars. وَلَا صَالِحِ عَامَّتِهِمْ And those who are righteous from their common people. وَرَجَعَ قَطْتٌ عَنْ قَوْلِهِ وَاَتِقَادِهِ That they apostatize or they, re, or they return or they abandon their statement and their belief. بَلْ هُمْ أَعْظَمُ النَّاسِ صَبْرًا Rather, they are the greatest of people in patience. عَلَى ذَلِكَ on that. وَإِنُمْ تُحِنُوا بِأَمْوَاعِ الْمِحَنِ Even when they are tested with different type of tests. وَفُتِّنُوا بِأَنْوَاعِ الْفِتَنِ وَفُتِّنُوا بِأَنْوَاعِ الْفِتَنِ And they are tried with different type of trials. أَثَّبَاتَ أَثَّبَاتَ be firm on your religion. Be firm on your religion. Do not worship Allah on the edge. So, leave talawun. Talawun is from the attribute of the hypocrites. Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala says in Tariqul Hijratayn, while describing the attribute of the, of the munafiq, he said, وَمِنْ sifatihim From the attributes, كَثْرَةُ talawun. They change color a lot. Ittaqillah. Fima bayna ka wa bayna Allah. Wathbutu. So kathratu talawun. Wa suratu taqallu. So they change a lot and they easily, easily change. Wa adamu thabata ala halin wahid. They don't stay on one condition. Bayna tarahu ala halin tu'jibu ka min deen au ibadah. أو هدي صالح أو صدق. You suddenly see them on a a condition that you are pleased with that amazes you that they are upon in religion أو عبادة أو worship أو هدي صالح أو أو صدق أو a good a path or truthfulness. إذا قلب إلى ضد ذلك then they will quickly change away from that. كَأَنَّهُ لَمْ يَعْرِفْ غَيْرَهُ As if that is what he has always been doing before. Subhanallah al-Azim. That is why those who apostatize, Wallahi, they are the greatest of enemies to Islam. Because most people who apostatize and they abandon the religion of Islam, they don't live alone. They live while they are condemning Islam. So they live while condemning Islam. They leave while attacking Islam. They leave while spreading doubt. Look at one, there is one useless man. All of you know him that leaves his beard white like this. One old man. Around uh, where he lives. A useless, worthless old man. So, and many like that. So, they don't only leave their religion. They leave their religion, at the same time they take people along. When the says, For who are ashaddu nasi ta'ala wunan. The hypocrite is the greatest of people in changing. 
wataqalluban wa tanaqulan jifatan bil layl is dead in the night quturuban bin nahar but very active in the day so jifatan bil layl quturuban bin nahar so uh, that is the first from the reasons uh, to avoid the fitna of ridda and leaving one zin the second is tarku hubb dunya so tarku hubb dunya wa zuhd anha so leave the love of dunya and a person should have abstinence and ascetism from dunya so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says ولكن من شرح بالكفر صدرا فعليهم غضب من الله ولهم عذاب عظيم وان سو ايفايس بليز ويت كفر فور اون ذيم از از ان انجر فروم الله اند ا جريت بونيشمنت ذلك بانه مستحب الحياه الدنيا على الاخره سو ذات از بيكوز ذا لوف لوك ات Look at look at the correlation look at the fiqh of this ayah the understanding of this ayah let me read it again wantabihu Allah says walakin man sharaha bil kufr sadran but the one who is the disbeliever is the one who who has set kufr with his heart fa alayhim ghadabun min Allah on them is a wrath from Allah wa lahum adhabun azim and they have a great punishment Allah is now explaining why they what why they are pleased with kufr Allah said dhalika bi annahum mustahabbu alhayat adunya ala alakhirah that is because they love the worldly life above the hereafter wa anna Allah la yahdi alqawm alkafirin and Allah does not guide those who are disbelievers so Allah does not guide those who are disbelievers So look at how the love of dunya is the reason that people apostatize from the religion. Wa qad ra'ayna wa sami'na kathiran wa ra'ayna kathiran. Ma'a ma'a a qillati umrina wa qillati ikhtibarina. Qad ra'ayna kathiran wa sami'na kathiran. So Abu Hurairah radiyallahu anhu qala He said The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in the hadith narrated by At-Tirmidhi wa Ibn Majah so the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam it is said that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said ala inna dunya mal'una this world is cost this worldly life is cost mal'unun ma fiha cost is also what is in it illa dhikrullah wa ma wala except the remembrance of Allah or what is attached to it wa'alimun and a scholar aw muta'allimun or the one who is seeking knowledge wa huwa du'if this hadith is du'if fa huwa du'if waslan lakin sahihu waqfan waqfan wa ma'nan kadhalik barakallahu fikum so du'if waslan wa sahihu waqfan so that is to the prophet It is not authentic to the prophet but to the companions it is what it is authentic this statement al hafiz ibn rajab rahimahullah ta'ala said that wa alam no anna dhamm al warid the blame that has come fi al kitab wa al sunna in the quran and the sunna li al dunya for the worldly life laysa huwa raji'an ila zamanha it is not returning back to the time of dunya itself الذي هو الليل والنهار which is the day and the night ولا الى مكان الدنيا and it is not returning back to the place of dunya itself الذي هو الارض which is the earth التي جعلها الله لبني ادم مهادا وسكنا that Allah has placed as a comfort and a place for the sons of Adam فإن ذلك كله من نعمة الله على عباده all of this is from the favors of Allah on his slaves وإنما الذم 
They blame whenever you see the dunya being blamed. Raji'un ila af'ali bani Adam. Wa inna madhammu. They blame Raji'un ila af'ali bani Adam. Returns back to the actions of the sons of Adam. Al-waqi'ati fi dunya. That happens in the dunya. Li'anna ghalibaha. Because majority of these actions waqi'un ala ghayri al-wajhi alladhi tuhmadu aqibatuhu. It happens in such a way that its end result is not praiseworthy. بل يقع على ما تضره عاقبته أو لا تنفع. هذا it happens that the end result harms and it does not benefit. So whenever you see the dunya being blamed, because a lot of the time we say the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said لا تسب الدهر. Don't insult time. But at the same time, you will see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala condemns dunya in the, in the Quran. Ibn Rajab says, that condemnation, that blameworthiness is not returning back to the time, not to the place. So, uh, Al-Hasan al-Basri, as mentioned in Hilyatul Awliya, he said, من آثر دنياه على آخرتي من آثر دنياه على آخرتي ويبقى give preference to his دنيا وما is here after فلا دنيا له ولا آخرة he will not have this دنيا and he will not have the here after الله سبحانه وتعالى says أولئك الذين اشتروا الحياة الدنيا بالآخرة those are the people who have bought the worldly life with the hereafter. فَلَا يُخَفَّ فَعَنُهُمُ الْعَذَابِ The punishment will not be reduced for them. وَلَا هُمْ يُنصَرُونَ And they will not be aided. Al-Shaykh bin Baz, رحمه الله تعالى said, as it is in his مجموع الفتاوى ومقالات, Shaykh bin Baz says, الْغُرُبَةُ فِي الْإِسْلَامُ تَشْتَدُ الْغُرُبَةُ فِي الْإِسْلَامِ تَشْتَدُ the strangeness of Islam will become more severe. Hatta yusbihu al-mu'minu musliman. Up to the point that a believer will wake up a Muslim, thumma yumsi kafiran. And by the evening he will become a disbeliever. Wa bil'aqs. And also the opposite. Yumsi mu'minan. By the evening he is a believer. Wa yusbihu kafiran. By the morrow, by the morning. He is a disbeliever. يَبِيعُ دِينَهُ بِعَرَضٍ مِنَ الدُّنْيَا وَذَلِكَ بِأَنْ يَتَكَلَّمَ بِالْكُفْرِ So, Sheikh Mbaa says that that is when he utters the statement of kufru. So, how many people, they think they are still upon Islam. وَقَدْ دَخَلُوا فِي الْكُفْرِ وَخَرَجُوا مِنْهُ And they have entered, you know when something enters something, it has not really entered. But when it's something enters something and then comes out of it, eh, it doesn't enter like that. So when something enters something and what and then pierce it out. So some of the scholars said that is the meaning of Yamurukuna uh, mina deen. Kama Yamruku Sahmu mina Ramiya. So Shaykh Mbah said that Wadari Kabi Anya Takalama bil Kufri. That is when he utters Kufru. يعمل به من أجل الدنيا. He strives for kufru because of the dunya. فيصبح مؤمنا ويأتيه من يقول له. In the morning he is a believer. Then someone will come to him and say, تسب الله إن صوت الله وتسب الرسول إن صوت the messenger. تدع الصلاة ليف صلاة ونعطيك كذا وكذا. And we are going to give you this and that. It happened to a brother. The brother said when he used to work in the land of the Kufar. So that, we'll get there. That's one of the reasons why people fall into the fitness of apostasy. So uh, going to the lands of the Kufar and staying there and, and embracing their, their ways and, and manners and cultures. So this brother said when he used to go for Salah, he said, you are, you, are, you are affecting productivity. So, but what I will do for you, I'm just going to pay you. 
When I pay you, khalas. Of course, kafir not say khalas. So, uh, so you don't, you don't go for that solar break you said you are going to, or something like that again. That, that's of, uh, uh, of course, this is like, what do we call it? Because the, 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 the what do we call it? The boss is scared that if he sends him away because he's observing salah, they will say, they will say he discriminated against him on the basis of religion. They are not doing it for the sake of Islam. Oh. So they, are, they have their own reason behind it. He said, I'll just pay you. Don't go observe this salah again. So Allahul Musta'an. So Sheikh Mubarak says, so these are things that are really happening. So, because... Subhanallah al azim Wallahi. <laughs> most people have a price. And most things have a price with most people. So, if you are talking about a million, uh, a million I should deliver Islam, uh, how much is a million? I'm talking of, maybe let us, oh, okay, the federal government have said we should not transact in dollars again. So we should try to stick to an era, even when we talk to people. So, say so one billion, one billion naira. You say, no, I can't, uh, I can't leave Islam because of that. We'll give you 200. 200 billion naira. Wallahi, with most people, everything has a price. They'll tell you we can do 200. <laughs> they will tell you that okay, you can get this, you can get this. In fact, you in fact, they don't have to. They don't have to tell anyone what you can do with two hundred. Everybody knows what you can do with two hundred. So everybody knows what they can do with two hundred. Most people have a price, but Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is just saving you that no one has ever come with the, with your own price. So, Tastahillu zina. Sheikh Mimba said that we we'll give you money, make zina halal. Make zina halal. Tastahillu khamra. Make alcohol halal. Wa nu'tika kada wa kada. We'll give you this and that. Fayabi'u deenahu bi'aradin min ad-dunya. We sell his religion for something of the dunya. Wa yusbihu kafiran. And then he will become a kafir. Aw yumsi kadalik. Or become like that in the evening. Aw yakulu. Or they say... لا تكن مع المؤمنين. Don't be with the believers. نعطيك كذا وكذا. We give you this and that. لتكون مع الكافرين. So that you be with the disbelievers. فيغريه أن يكون مع الكافرين. So they will deceive him to become with the uh, disbelievers. وفي حزب الكافرين. And in the party of the disbelievers. وفي أنصارهم. And in their helpers. حتى يعطيه المال الكثير. So that they can give him so many wealth. فَيَكُونُ وَلِيًّا لِلْكَافِرِينَ So he will become a guardian for the kuffar. وَعَدُوًّا لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ And an enemy to the believers. وَأَنْوَاعُ الرِّدَّةِ كَثِيرًا كَثِيرًا جِدًّا And the different types of ridda are plenty. وَغَالِبًا Now this is where we are going. This is Sheikh Mimbaz. Sheikh Mimbaz says, وَغَالِبًا مَا يَكُونُ ذَلِكَ And in most cases, most of those ridda, the reason for them بِسَبَبِ الدُّنْيَا Because of the worldly life. حُبُّ الدُّنْيَا The word of the, love, uh, of the worldly life. The love of the worldly life. وَإِثَارُهَا عَلَى الْآخِرَةِ I'm preferring to the hereafter. لِهَذَا قَالْ That is why he said يَبِعُ دِينَهُ بِعَرَضٍ مِنَ الدُّنْيَا So there are still a lot of things here but let us move on to the next uh, reason. So I think I have up to like 30 reasons here. That can save a person from the fitna of Ridda. So the next one is Da'fu al Wala'i wal Bara. So Da'fu al Wala'i wal Bara. This is one of the reasons why people fall into the fitna of apostasy, of abandoning their religion, of leaving Islam. Da'fu al Wala'i wal Bara. When a person's loyalty and his avowal is weak, the weakness of loyalty and his avowal, when it is weak, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لا تجد قوما You will not find a people. يؤمنون بالله واليوم الآخر Who believe in Allah on the last day? يوادون من حاد الله ورسوله 
loving those who oppose Allah and His Messenger. Even if they are, they are their fathers, or their sons, or their brothers, or their relatives, those are the people that Allah has written Iman in their heart. Those are the people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has what? Has written Iman in their heart. So some of the Mufassirun said, Kataba bima'ana thabata aw athbata. So that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made Iman firm in their heart. Wa ayyadahum bi ruhin minhu. And Allah aids them with a ruh from Himself. So wa yudikhiluhum jannat. And Allah enters them into jannat. Tajiri min tahti al anhar. So that flow that, that flows beneath it, rivers. Khalidina fiha. So they will abide in it forever. Radiallahu anhum wa radu an. They are pleased with Allah and Allah is pleased with them. Ula'ika hizbullah. So those are the party of Allah. Allah inna hizbullahi humul muflihun. The party of Allah are the ones who are going to be successful. So Allah says, Wallahul musta'an. So la tajidu qawman, Allah says, la tajidu qawman, you not find the people, yu'minuna billah, that believe in Allah, wal yawmil akhir, and the last day, you are aduna man had Allah wa rasulah. So the aslu, the aslu of belief, is in al-wala wa al-bara. So if your al-wala wa al-bara is weak, then you are very close to the kuffar, and you are very close to falling into kufr. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says, يا أيها الذين آمنوا أو يو بليف لا تتخذوا آباءكم do not take your fathers وإخوانكم and your brothers أولياء as guardians or as close companions or as overseers of your affairs إن استحبوا الكفر على الإيمان if they love the disbelief over belief do not take them as أولياء وَمَنْ يَتَوَلَّهُمْ مِنْكُمْ Whoever takes them as awliya from you فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الظَّالِمُونَ Those are the oppressors. Allah says, قُلْ إِنْ كَانَ آبَاؤُكُمْ Tell them. Tell them that if your fathers وَأَبْنَاؤُكُمْ and your sons وَإِخْوَانُكُمْ and your brothers وَأَزْوَاجُكُمْ and your wives وَعَشِيرَتُكُمْ and your relatives وَأَمْوَالٌ اِقْتَرَفْتُمُوهَا And wealth that you have acquired وَتِجَارَةٌ تَخْشَوْنَ كَسَادَهَا Allahu Akbar And a business that you fear its destruction وَمَسَاكِنُ تَرُضَوْنَهَا And lofty palaces or abodes or houses that you are pleased with أَحَبَّ إِلَيْكُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ It's more beloved to you than Allah and His Messenger وَجِهَادٍ فِي سَبِيلِهِ And fighting in the path of Allah فَتَرَبَّصُوا Then wait حَتَّى يَأْتِيَ اللَّهُ بِأَمْرِ Until Allah comes with his affair وَاللَّهُ لَا يَهْدِ الْقَوْمَ الْفَاسِقِينَ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not guide those who are fasiqeen Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا O you who believe إِن تُطِيعُوا الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا إن تضيع الذين كفروا، if you obey those who are disbelievers، يردوكم على أعقابكم، they will turn you away from your from your heel، فتنقلبوا خاسرين، and you will turn to those who are losers. so in الدلائل في حكم موالاة أهل الإشراق، شيخ سليمان بن عبد الله الشيخ said، أخبر تعالى على إنفمس أن المؤمنين that the believers إن أطاع الكفار إذا لسن تري disbelievers فلا بد أن يردوهم على أقابهم عن الإسلام they will turn them from their ears from Islam فإنهم لا يقنعون منهم بدون الكفر they will not be pleased with them except that they disbelieve وأخبر أنهم إن فعلوا ذلك then Allah سبحانه وتعالى informs that if they do that صاروا من الخاسرين في الدنيا والآخرة they will become from those who will lose in this life and the hereafter. وَلَمْ يُرَخِّسْ فِي مُوَافَقَتِهِمْ 
Allah did not Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not give leniency in agreeing with the kufar. Allah did not give leniency in agreeing with the kufar. Wa ta'atihim and obeying them. Khawfan minhum out of fearing them. Wa hadha huwa al waqi and this is the truth. Fa innahum la yaktan la yaktani'un. They will not be pleased. Mimman wa faqahum with whoever agrees with them. Illa bi shahadati annahum ala haq. Until you agree that they are right. Do you believe that the United States of America is the greatest country in the world? Do you believe in the Constitution? Do you believe that? Uh, yes. I believe today you become a citizen. Take your part, Lord. So, فَإِنَّهُمْ لَا يَقْتَنِعُونَ Because the kuffar, they are not going to be pleased. مِمَّا وَفَقَهُمْ With whoever agrees with them. إِلَّا بِشَهَادَةِ أَنَّهُمْ عَلَى حَقٍ until you testify that they are upon the truth. وَإِذْهَالِ الْعَدَاوَةِ وَالْبَغْضَاءِ لِلْمُسْلِمِينَ And you show it trade and enmity to the, to, the, uh, to the believers. There are so many other ayahs like that. Let me just mention a, a story to, here to, to us. In Tartibu al-Madarik, so of Al-Qadi, Riyadh. So one of the companions of Malik, he is known as Bahlul ibn Rashid. So Bahlul ibn Rashid. Allahu Akbar. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to raise the knowledge of a person, Allah will make him be of benefit to the people. Many of those who came from Africa, they, they went to study from Imam, Imam Malik. When many of them left, they spread the teachings of Imam Malik in, in all of Africa. And to Kurdub, to Spain, to Europe. So while at a time, while at a time, almost that even the madhab of Imam Malik was almost unknown. Even in the city where Imam, Imam, Imam Malik was given birth to. Wallahi la tadri. You don't know who, is, who Allah is going to benefit with this knowledge. So share. Many of, many of those that Allah will use to raise this sunnah that they are not even born yet. And many of those that will still become enemies that they are friends today. So Bahlul ibn Rashid said, he's from the companions of Imam Malik. He gave money to some of his companions to buy him oil. So they told him that, so they told those people that he sent, they said there is, a Christian says oil, that the oil is very good. So this companion went and to buy the oil from the Christian. So when he informed the Christian that it is Bahlul that wants to buy it, so he increased the oil. And he said, Ah, Natakorabu ila Allah, bi khidmati Bahlul, kama tatakorabuna antum ila Allah bi khidmati. We use a serving so and so person to get closer to Allah just like you yourself use serving him to get closer to Allah so when this Christian gave uh, gave them the oil they went back to Bahlul so then he said okay the Christian also returned the money and then he still increased the oil so when they, when they returned back to Bahlul he said return his money back to him and they informed him and I asked him, why did you do this? He said, don't you see the statement of Allah? That you will not find the people. He said, and Nasrani. I fear of taking the oil of a Christian. Then I, then I start finding in my heart for him a love. فَأَكُونُ مِمَّنْ حَادَ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ Then I now become from those who oppose Allah and His Messenger. عَلَىٰ عَرَضٍ مِنَ الدُّنْيَا يَسِيرٍ Due to something of dunya that is little. So do you, that because of this and this, Wallahi, people are living Islam because of three scoops of rice. One bag of rice. People are leaving Islam because of one bag of rice. 
ونختم بهذا في اليوم إن شاء الله تعالى. So one of the reasons why people fall into the fitna of apostasy is asafaru ila bilad al kufar. Asafaru ila bilad al kufar. والإقامة بين أظهرهم السفر إلى بلاد الكفار والإقامة بين أظهرهم traveling to the countries of kufar of the disbelievers visa visa so والإقامة بين أظهرهم and living between them Europe Finland, Scotland, Iceland, Ireland. In reality, many of these places are Kufru land. So, America, UK, everyone from the scholars, they continue to warn from this type of places. I'm going there. And how many of the Muslims have left their faith? Because they go to the lands of the kuffar. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the, in the noble Quran, Inna alladheena tawafahum al-malaika Those that the malaika take their souls, ظالمي أنفسهم Why they were oppressors to themselves. قالوا فيما كنتم They will say, what were you upon in this life? قالوا كنا مستضعفين في الأرض They say we were weak on the earth. قالوا ألم تكن أرض الله واسعة Is the earth of Allah not wide enough? Is the earth of Allah not wide enough? فتهاجروا فيها I should make hijra in it. فأولئك مأواهم جهنم Those are the people that their abode is hellfire. وساءت مسيرا And what an evil about it it is. قال الإمام ابن كثير رحمه الله تعالى في تفسير هذه الآية. فهذه الآية انتبهوا واستمعوا. فهذه الآية. This آية عامة is general في كل من أقام بين ظهران المشركين. For everyone who stays between the kufar وهو قادر على الهجرة. While he is capable of making hijra, وليس متمكنا من إقامة الدين. While he is not able to practice his religion, for who are ظالم لنفسه, he is an oppressor to himself. مرتكب حرام بالإجماع. He is someone who is doing what is حرام بالإجماع. ونفس هذه الآية أو the text of this آية. Ibn Kathir rahimahullah ta'ala mentioned something important here which is that وَلَيْسَ مُتَمَكِّنًا مِنْ إِقَامَةِ دِينِهِ and he's not able to establish his religion so when you live in the land of the kuffar and he's not able to establish his religion or he's not able to display his religion sometimes you see the statement of the scholars they will say وَلَمْ يَتَمَكَّنْ مِنْ إِذْهَارِ دِينِهِ Some people don't think, ah, they are able to, uh, to establish their religion. At least they can pray. No one will do anything for them. Al-Alamatu Sa'adi, rahimahullah ta'ala says, in Al-Fatawa Al-Sa'adiyya. So what does it mean that you are able to establish your religion? Al-Sa'adi says, Yabqa alayna. What remains? Ma huwa idharu deen. What is... Being able to display your religion in the land of the kuffar. وَمَا هُوَ الدِّينِ What is the religion? فَالْإِذْهَارُ بِدُّ الْإِخْفَارِ إِذْهَار Being able to display something is the opposite of hiding something. فَالْمُظْهِرُ دِينَهُ The one who displays his religion هُوَ الَّذِي تَمَكَّنَ مِنْ إِعْلَانِهِ Is the one who is able to announce it. وَلَا يُدْتَهَضُ عَلَى ذَلِكِ And he is not attacked for that. وَلَا يَخْفِيهِ And he does not hide it. وَالْعَاجِزُ عَنِ الْإِذْهَارِ 
and the one who is incapable to display his religion so the one who is incapable of displaying his religion is the one who is not able to display his iman, his tawheed, and the belief of his religion, and washara, washara'i'i, and the sharia of the religion. la And when we say being able to display your, your religion in the land of the kuffar, so the deen we are mentioning here, la yuhaddu, it is not defined. Wala yufassaru, and it is not explained. Bitafsirin with an explanation. Ahsanu wala awdahu min tafsiri nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. More than the tafsir of the Prophet. Wala ajma. Fa inna hu fasarahu bi majmu'i aqa'id al-deen. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam explained it that all of the belief of the religion. Wa shara'i'i and its legislations. Wa haqa'iqi and its realities. حَيْثُ بَيَّنَ أَنَّ الْإِيمَانِ So then he explained, الْإِيمَانُ وَأَنْ تُؤْمِنَ بِاللَّهِ وَمَلَائِكَةِ وَكُتْبِهِ الصَّلَاءِ الْإِسْلَامَ وَإِقَامَ الْإِحْسَانِ Then he said, after this, هَذَا جِبْرِيلُ وَأَتَاكُمْ يُعَلِّمُكُمْ دِينَكُمْ فَجَعَلَ ذَلِكَ كُلَّهُ هُوَ الدِّينِ Allah said, the messenger of Allah said, all of this is deen. فَمَتَى قَدِرَ الْإِنسَانُ عَلَى هَذِهِ الْأُمُورِ Whenever a person is able to display all of these things, وَعَدَمِ إِخْفَاءِ شَيْءٍ مِنْهَا وَعَدَمِ إِخْفَاءِ شَيْءٍ مِنْهَا And he does not hide anything from it. فَهُوَ الْمُظْهِرُ لِدِينِهِ That is the one who can display his religion. وَمَتَى عَجِزَ عَنْ إِذْهَارِهَا Whenever he's not able to display all of the religion, أو إظهار شيء منها أو إظهار شيء منها Or he's not able to display something from it. فهو عاجز عن إظهار دينه So that is the person who is incapable to display his religion. وهذا بحمد الله واضح And this, by the grace of Allah, is clear. But it's not clear to some people. لا إشكال فيه. There is no doubt in it. فلو كان يقدر أن يصلي. If he is able to pray in the land of the kuffar, ويسوم and fast. لكن لا يقدر أن يظهر توحيده. But he is not able to display his توحيد. وإيمانه and his belief. وعقيدته and his creed. كان عاجزا عن إظهار دينه. He will be counted as someone who is not able to display his religion. This statement of Sa'ad, a more clear statement of Sheikh Salih Fawzan. We end with this, inshallah. Sheikh Salih Fawzan says in Sharh al-Dalail, fi muwalati ahl al-Ishraq. Sheikh Salih Fawzan is explaining the ayah that we read before. That, inna ladhina tawafahum al-malaika. Sheikh Salih Fawzan says, هذه الآية. So this ayah, نزلت في ترك الهجرة. It was revealed regarding leaving hijra wahiya an hijra al intiqal min balad al kufri it is to leave the country of kufru ila balad al islam to the country of islam fa yajibu ala al muslim it is composing on a muslim and yuhajira bi dinihi to make hijra with his deen min baladin in a country la yastadi'u izhar dinihi fiha in a country where he is not able to display his deen Listen, is how being able to display your zin and now who you talk who you suddenly being able to display your din is not that they should leave you and you are they leave you and you're able to pray how you are to add that or is able to worship what are you mean and they don't stop you from praying latin but and is how being able to display your din din and nu'lina anna al-islam huwa al-deen al-haq is when you are able to announce that Islam is the real religion wa anna ma adahu batil and for any other thing about from it is falsehood Sheikh Salih Fawzan Sharhu wa Dalai fi yukmi mu'alati al-shirat page 83 to 84 
So wa anna ma'adahu batil. Or wa anna ma'idahu batil. And everything apart from it is falsehood. Wa anna Allah awjaba ala al-khulki jami'an. And that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, these are the things you must be able to proclaim publicly before you can accept that you what you can what you can do is part of your what of your deed. You you must be able to say, Anna Allah awjaba ala al-khulk. That Allah has made it compulsory on all of the creation. Jami'an, all of them. Ittiba'a Rasul al-Islam, to follow the messenger of Islam. Wa anna shara'i'a nusikhat. You must be able to announce publicly that all of the sharia have been abrogated. Bi shari'at al-Islam, with the sharia of Islam. Wa yada'u al-nasa ila al-Islam. You should call people to Islam. Hada idharu di. This is when you are able to display your religion. Amma innahum yatrukuna hu yusalli wa yasum. But they just leave you to be praying and fasting. Hada laysa idhar on the deed. This is not being able to display your religion. The anna hada al-amal. Because this action. La yata'adda naf'uhu sahiba. The benefit does not uh, extend except on the person doing it. Wal wajibu nashuri al-islam. And what is compulsory is that we should share Islam. وَالدَّعْوَةُ إِلَى الْإِسْلَامِ And to call to Islam. وَلَا يَكْفِي أَنْ يَقْتَسِرَ الْمُسْلِمُ عَلَىٰ نَفْسِ So it is not enough that a Muslim limits to himself. That they allow me to pray. Huh? We have masajid. No, that is not what we call being able to display your religion. Allahu a'lam. And there are many other statements of the scholars on this. But the person who is, who is the lover of the truth, who is ready to follow the truth, يَكْفِيهِ قَوْلٌ وَاحِدٌ سَعَادَ وَاللَّهُ عَلَمُ وَصَلَى اللَّهُ وَسَلَى بَارَكَ عَلَى نَبِيِّنَا مُحَمَّدٍ وَعَلَى آلِهِ وَصَحْبِهِ أَجْمَعِينَ سُبْحَانَكَ اللَّهُ وَبِحَمْدِكِ أَشَرَ اللَّهِ لَهَا إِلَّا أَنْتَ أَسْتَكْفِرُكَ وَأَتُوبُ إِلَيْهِ